Well, but hey, 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 well, let, let me let me bring this up while we're at it. Little interaction as possible. You know, I've 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 pissed people off on Twitter again. I mentioned this, referenced this at the top of the program. And you just saw a little bit of this because it had hadn't happened but it, it, long ago, but it put me in a good mood. And this was continuing something that we talked about on the experience this past week, where that now they've announced in AEW that they're going to have a 16-woman tournament. Like, they already haven't scraped the bottom of the women's wrestling barrel with the team they've been fielding. But now, eight from the United States and eight unknown Japanese outlaw girl wrestlers. And I'm that's going to be a wonderful thing to behold. And I mentioned that one of them I had seen put out or people had been retweeting some really weird tweets and you scoffed at me, Brian last. Did you not? Did you remember scoffing? I may have scoffed, but then we found some evidence of these outrageous tweets. But at first you scoffed. Yes, because you it were an early, an early scoffer because it seemed to be so preposterous. And then I said, wait a minute, look around. And then you're like, what the fuck is this? Well, there's more. Apparently, and this girl's name is Maki Ito. Maki Ito. And apparently, well, before we go into her story, let me just say that that somebody had had, you know, tweeted the the picture where for some inexplicable reason she there's a picture of her and what i said was a japanese schoolgirl outfit it turned out it looked like more like a french french japanese maid outfit kind of a cross there and it said i am i thought it said i'm the queen but it actually said i'm the i am the god of love and piss so what in the french fried titty fuck is this yeah right? by, the, by the way not in aew jake roberts is on the roster well, yeah, then that's the thing. A He's the of god of love and piss. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, a lot of people have mentioned that the, there's going to be piss competition. But anyway, and 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 then she had tweeted, and it's legitimately her. She's got the blue check mark and everything. She had tweeted when they put the graphic of her being in the AEW Women's Tournament. She put the, the screenshot of the graphic up, and and the, her greeting was, "Hello, motherfuckers." And I'm like, what the fuck? But meanwhile, she looks like another one of these 90-pound fucking schoolgirls. I'm like, how old is this girl? 12? And what the fuck's going on here? So anyway, I had uh, we had been tweeting back and forth about that, me and some of the cult members. I had retweeted this thing or tweeted it to you or whatever. And apparently I look and I have... Uh, somebody sent me the thing where I am the god of love and piss. And I said, she better be the work on being the the god of shit because she's going to see a lot of that in this tournament. And it pissed off Maki Ito herself, and she sent me back in reply to that. No. Yes, she sent me back in reply to that. A uh, One of these weird Japanese advertisements for something with her sitting there tastefully naked and with a melted Hershey bar smeared all over her and holding the Hershey bar in her hand, which has, a, I'm sure, something to do with more of those weird Japanese things and advertisements and carryings on. And she was, apparently she was upset at me, but she gave it right back and she said, I am the queen of, or the god of shit. Oh no, it's even better. It's on the day. <laughs> yes, I well, yes. <laughs> I'm looking point. at it now. <laughs> I yeah, because I said she better worry about being a, a deity of excrement or shit or whatever. I am the deity of shit. And with this with the Hershey bar. But anyway, several <laughs> things have emerged from this interaction because that's fine with her. Good for her. It's right, it's it's great that she had that picture just readily available to within seconds to send me back. But several things have come up. First of all, the fucking feedback from all these Joshi, these Joshi fans. I actually, I, I, they said, well, you just need to watch Joshi. I said, no, I'm not going to be joshing with the Joshis because I've got a life and I'm a fan of pro wrestling. Uh, and they just, but here's the thing. These are allegedly adult males over the age of 18 
male adults in this world. These are they are speaking and acting the same way that they did when I used to beat up Ricky Morton and it was 13 and 14 year old girls. Oh, you, you can't say that about Mackie. Oh, you horrible man. And using foul language. Apparently, 13, 14 year old girls and grown adult males that are Joshi fans have foul mouths. But, Brian, let me just state this for the record. Number one, if you are a grown adult male in this world over the age of 18, and you have a Twitter account where your profile picture is your favorite girl wrestler, and or your name on Twitter figures somehow your favorite girl wrestler into it, and if you look at your profile, you have a bunch of heart symbols with hashtags figuring into your favorite girl wrestler, you are a fucking pussy. Period. What the fuck? They act like 13-year-old girls coming to Ricky Morton's aid. Oh, you are a woman, and you're racist because you don't like Japanese because she's a great wrestler. She's from Japan. Here's another thing. It's racist to assume that every Japanese person is a great pro wrestler. Isn't that like saying that all the Asians are good at math or bad at driving? Isn't that stereotypical? Is it stereotypes bad? I got, I got to smarten people up. They have outlaw mud show wrestling in Japan, just like we have it here. And these girls are being cherry picked from that world, just like they are here because Twinkle Toes McFinger Bang used to work for the male comedy promotion that teams up with the female comedy promotion that all of these fucking little 14-year-old looking 100-pound weirdos come from. We are not talking women that have gone through the 90s All Japan training dojo and have long stellar careers as top professional wrestlers. We are talking about the kind of talent that you would think that Twinkle Toes McFinger Bang would sign for a billionaire's vanity wrestling promotion, which is all of the fucking friends of his friends that he knows from working the mud shows there himself. As I said, I don't think that uh, any of these girls could have cleared the All Japan Dojo in the 90s. What, 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 Medusa and Debbie Malenko, the only two Americans that ever went through that program and lasted, right? I will admit, those girls were tough. Those girls were badass. This girl is not. Would you like to know, besides now that we've just established that there's a lot of grown adult men that don't get laid and are taking it out in strange ways on Twitter. Would you like to know a little bit more about Maki Ito, Brian? Not really, no. Well, I'm going to tell you some anyway. <laughs> of course. About her, well, the next Mildred Burke here. <laughs> oh, come on. The next Mildred, listen to this dynamite background that this incredible Japanese pro wrestler has. Maki Ito is, is this according to Wikipedia here, is a Japanese female professional wrestler, actress, model, and idol. She's an idol. Formerly of the group, and I don't know how this is pronounced, I would I think Link, but L-I-N Capital Q. Link. She's a wrestler, actress, model, and idol. Apparently, this is a thing. She is in a teen pop group or has been in a teen pop group that apparently in Japan they're called idols. And uh, she is also a former uh, international princess champion for Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling. Oh, that's a big title. We heard about that on AEW TV not too long ago. Well, you, of course we did. You'll hear a lot about things that you've never heard about before on <laughs> AEW television. Okay, so here's uh, real quickly. Maki Ito made her debut in show business as part of the second generation of Link members joining the group on February 11th, 2012. She was placed in the group's QTY team. So I get, I have no idea what they dance, they sing, whatever. She's had records, whatever, teen groups. 
Uh, she had her oh her first experience with professional wrestling in 2013 at the age of 18 when she was invited by President Sanshiro Takagi to participate in an idle lumberjack four-way match at a DDT pro wrestling show. That's the comedy group that allows Twinkle Toes to simulate matches with children, sex dolls, and inan inanimate objects in front of fans. So, of course, they're going to want the Idol Lumberjack four-way match. Matter of fact, Austin Idol was the referee, right? Uh, she was selected as a finalist in an alternative beauty pageant. I don't know what an altered Miss ID. I don't know what that means. She was not selected for the main prize, but she received a special prize given to her personally by television producer Nobuyuki Sakuma. Um, the same year, she also participated in the sixth anniversary show of Kaiyushi Pro Wrestling, where she was an official second. Uh, in 2015, she played uh, a couple of uh, short films, blah, 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 uh, soundtrack. She appeared on the variety show God Tongue. God Tongue, T-O-N-G-U-E, God Tongue. That's a variety show there. Drawing attention from the show's hosts due to the size of her head. In 2016... Uh, she played herself in a fictional movie based on Link and featuring the group's songs. Uh, in August, she appeared on Masahiro Nakai's talk show, Nakai Nomado, in a special episode featuring people with unfortunate faces. In 2017, the Link lineup was rearranged. Members left the group. They'd be featured in a new group. A fo 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 oh, listen to this. The members who were removed from Link would be featured in, in a new group focused on musical theater, but only if Link could sell a thousand tickets to concerts held in Tokyo's Nakano Sun Plaza and the Fukuoka Civic Hall. So they had to, it's like wrestling school. They had to sell their own fucking tickets to keep their job. Ito personally performed wrestling and music on the streets in order to sell the tickets and promote the group and they succeeded in meeting the requirements. However, she was still removed from the group's lineup and moved into the entertainment group Tokiwoki Ru. <sighs> After her removal from Link, Ito turned her wrestling tag team with regular partner Mizuki into an idol group, <laughs> and they released a single. Upon successfully selling 400 CDs, a music video was produced for the lead track. What the fuck? They have to sell their own shit and meet quotas to get what kind of fucking racket they got going on over there. Anyway, uh, she demonstrated wrestling moves on an internet variety show. And, uh, oh, she later appeared as part of a DDT street wrestling show held at a music festival where she did an impromptu acapella cover of Nerve by Biss. And she released the digital single Brooklyn The Hole in 2019. Uh, as far as wrestling... <laughs> my hole. Yes, my hole. Uh, yeah, she, she... She started in... Actually, in wrestling matches, apparently, in, in December of 2015, where she was eliminated in a battle royal for the Iron Man Heavy Metal Weight Championship. Uh, but she officially joined Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling about a year later. So she's been working part-time on outlaw shows in Japan for four, five, less than four years, basically. And, uh, oh, she made her U.S. debut at DDT Coming to America, where she wrestled Miyu Yamashita, and the next day she appeared at Joey Ryan's penis party. Well, it all makes sense now. <sighs> when did the so term anyway, Joshi start being used? I don't remember that ever in the 90s being used. No, because it's all girl pop shit, and that's another thing. That's what I'm saying. The point is, it's racist if you think that every native of the country of Japan is a great wrestler, because obviously these are mud show clowns and cosplayers jacking off just like their American counterparts, and they all find a way to AEW. As far as whether I'm racist against Japanese people because I don't like cosplaying schoolgirls, you people have two options. 
You can either believe that or you can blow me. I don't care what country they're from. Japan, the United States, Canada, Great Britain, Nigeria, Alaska, or the Isle of fucking Malta. If they're a bunch of little fucking girls or boys from girl bands or boy bands, cosplaying is a bunch of fucking idiots, gymnastic exhibitions, and fucking silliness all around by people that couldn't whip their way out of a paper bag. Fuck you, I'm not watching it. I don't care if they do the moves properly. It's ridiculous. They, now, when did it? When did these uh, uh, people who allegedly follow this stuff and and follow it so closely that they know all these girls' backstories and all this Joshi Princess Championship shit, and they're not smart enough to figure out that that's the America, the Japanese counterpart to the American outlaw mud shows, where nobody takes this shit seriously, and apparently they have to sell their own tickets. Ah, the god of love and piss and shit. Well, one thing, Jim, about the fans of what's her name, Maki Ito? Maki Ito! Of Maki Ito and those people you said they're putting images of Japanese women wrestlers as their profile pics on Twitter. You mentioned their neck beards. Well, one of the beautiful things about Manscaped is you could use it on your neck even if it's flaccid. You've been making notes on these, haven't you? <laughs> I have not. That You've just been came writing to me. these down. That just came yes. to me during the last story. Folks, <laughs> if you have a flaccid neck or if your neck is as big as a giraffe's, either way, it doesn't matter. Manscaped will take the hair off of you, clean you up no matter where it's located. It's it's time to get active, folks. As as we're coming in, we're getting a vaccine real soon. Uh, 2021 is going to be better. We might actually go out in public again. You got to beat back the rainforest, trim the Amazonian jungle. You got to smell good. You got to feel good. You got to look good, moving good, breathing good. With the Manscaped performance package, they've got something to do everything that needs done around the house as it relates to your anatomy. Whether it be the Lawnmower 3.0, the most incredible personal body trimmer of all time with the LED light and the, the waterproofness so you can do it in the shower and the, the incredible feel of it in your hand because of the uh, ergonomically friendly slant to the thing so you can hold it without your hand going to sleep. Or whether it's the weed whacker, ear and nose hair trimmer. So you can, as I believe I've mentioned recently, 79% of partners polled admitted that long nose hair is a major turnoff. 20% said that it was a major turn on, and 1% had no comment. Also, the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, the Crop Reviver Ball Toner, they've got boxer shorts, they've got the refined cologne, they've got everything to make you smell good and look slick and feel soft at manscaped.com. And... If you go to manscaped.com and use the code DRIVE, D-R-I-V-E, you'll get 20% off and free shipping on anything in the house. Manscaped.com, 20% off and free shipping on everything with the code DRIVE. You know, Brian, they're, they're making your winter wiener look so wonderful over there at Manscaped. There is shrinkage during the winter time, But if you trim the, 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 the hair... You instantly add one to three inches of snow. I'm talking about of snow. snow, of course, snow. of course. Well, let's continue on with this banner episode of the. And Black do, do I mention that does not apply? By the way, that commercial does not apply to any grown adult males out there who have their favorite girl wrestlers picture as their profile picture on Twitter and hashtags and heart symbols. You don't have any hair on your balls. You don't need these products. You know, when, when we were kids it, it, in, in Tennessee, they wanted to be Lawler. In Florida, they wanted to be Dusty. In fucking New York, they wanted to be Billy Graham or fucking Bruno or not Bob Backlund. But God, did anybody want to be fucking the Fabulous Moolah? No. Nobody wanted to be fucking the Fabulous Moolah. Well, no. nobody wanted to be. Well, <laughs> I mean, no. But nobody. We didn't like, God, our favorite wrestler is the Fabulous Moolah. 
Jesus, and I could understand if it was girls defending the girls that I'm taking the piss out of, as they say. I guess I shouldn't say that as it relates to Maki Ito. That might be taken literally, but uh, as as the girls that I'm knocking, if it was girls defending them, that might be one thing. I could get into that. We got to def- defend our own fucking genres and et cetera. But fucking grown adult guys that wrapped up on these little Japanese fucking cosplay wrestlers that they're all fucking bent up, wound out of shape on Twitter. I'll Let me just explain to you that I mentioned besides the fact you have no hair on your balls and you're a big pussy, if I was to walk up in front of you and you say any of these things, I'd slap you naked and hide your clothes. Holy mackerel. 